Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the number of Jamaicans being refused entry by the Panamanian government is increasing. Now it's believed that they're using the route to get to Mexico with the hope of crossing the border into the United States. Now our reporter Jamela Maitland spoke with one of them. Getting to the United States by any means necessary, it's the story of several Jamaicans who've been using the alternative means to get to the U.S. It has forced the government of some Central American countries to be wary of Jamaican travelers. According to the Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency, PICA, between January 1, 2018 and March 31, 2023, 2,167 Jamaicans were refused entry by the Panamanian government. 2,055 of them occurred at the beginning of 2020. During that same period, 143 Jamaicans were refused entry by the Mexican government. We spoke to a woman who we'll call Pam, who was among the statistics. People with criminal um, offenses in Panama don't accept them. So... We, we can't use Panama to go to a next country and we can't come into the country, period. But that's not stopping Pam, who is in her 50s, from trying again. She revealed that several of her friends have successfully crossed the border and are now working and sending money back home. If you lose, use all your money and when you reach Mexico, Mexico still don't accept you. You understand the most some of the country them the most accept you so it's a risk and you just have to pray and just hope everything must work out. But once yeah, but once Mexico accept you, you, you feel more you understand because you're nearer to your, your goal, you're nearer to your journey. And you said we could be taking another trip again, try to see. Yes, a trip off a trip off a trip to the reach right in. I'm not staying. Not staying in Jamaica because of the lack of opportunities for people her age, the level of crime and violence, and the cost of living. However, according to Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith, it's not only a dangerous trek, but it can affect legitimate travelers. She revealed that several Jamaicans are also detained in immigration centers in the U.S. after being arrested at the border. Actions and decisions like this they, they really do fight against the efforts of the government and they do affect the reputation of the passport and the immigration experience of our lawful travelers. Minister Johnson Smith listed several programs that the government has embarked on for youth. But for Pam, she explains it's not enough. Pam have a lot to do with it too. But then you have people who have a lot of kids who don't want to see them kids, you know? They want, they want to have stuff. People want house, people want care, people want to live lavish. And you don't think you can achieve that in Jamaica? Jamaica money the value. Jamaica money don't have any value. You have to work the whole of your life for. If you even own something. It's hard up here to call people. People are ball the same way, but I mean, it's more opportunity. It's more, it's bigger, it's wider. It's 52, 53 states. I mean, you could go any, you're here and nothing not, 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 not happen for you. You try somewhere else. But everything better, everything, everything. The environment, the houses, your, 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 your clothes, your appearance, everything is way different to me. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.